After the big break in the season, it's everybody's ready to go racing. I mean, it's time to get after it. The back half of the season's only gonna get tougher. Line rock's physically exhausting. You're constantly using one side of your body to support the G-loads, and there's no straightaway to rest. As short as Lime Rock is, there's still some pretty high-speed corners, especially for a, a downforce prototype type car. You almost can't look far enough ahead to, to see the cars that are going to be, you know, right in front of you in just a few corners. The track is so short and, and there's such a difference in speed between the prototype cars and, and the slower GT cars. So, for me as a driver, I really enjoy that. You know, you've really got to set your passes up a long time before you actually catch the traffic and, and really look ahead. So it makes for one of those places where it's um, you know sort of like a high-speed chess game. So it's a lot of fun. Lime Rock, it's action-packed. There's <laughs> non-stop chaos happening around that course during the ALMS race from start to finish. And uh, the P2 car is going to be phenomenal this year. Raced there a number of times in GT. Of course, it's my home track growing up in New York, so I've raced Formula cars around there. But the P2, HPD will be the quickest car I've driven around that place, and I, I can't wait for it. That track is a, is a track that you just can't miss a beat. You cannot miss uh, corner one. You can't screw up in corner three, neither the last one, or else your momentum is done for the next five laps. So it's, uh, it's going to be a fierce battle. Um, without, without hesitating to say that, you know, we're probably going to go side by side in corner one, two, three at one point, so it's going to be a great battle. Lime Rock's a tough track. It's short, there's no straightaway, so it gives you two challenges as a driver. One, you've got to know where to rest. You're constantly busy, constantly working, so it's a very exhausting physical track. The other problem with Lime Rock is there's no straightaway, so there's nowhere to pass, so it's very difficult to get the faster cars by. A lot of times you're having to go two, sometimes three wide through the corners, because that's really the only way to get through, and that also leads to frustrations building. I love Lime Rock. It's my home track. I grew up on it. I went there actually. I was six months old sitting up on the hill. Had one of my first races there. Uh, so I, I can't wait to get back there in the P2 car. It is tight. It's hard to pass. Um, it's really a lot of bumping and shoving and you almost got to make stuff happen a little bit there. As fragile as our cars are. But I think it's a great race for the fans and it's, I'd rather be uh, passing than being passed. So glad to be in the P2 car.